there's a different way to look at this. I think if we imagine that we're already independent, let's imagine that it's Westminster's job in this referendum to try and persuade us to join the UK. What could they possibly offer us? A parliament 500 miles away, where they take all our MPs and put them in a huge parliament where they have no voice. They take every bit of our revenue to the treasury and they give us back so much. They'll decide. Then we'll look at the army. They take control of the army. They can fight illegal wars if they want, do whatever they want. It's out with our control. And then we'll look at nuclear weapons. They dump them 30 miles from the most densely populated area in Scotland because no one else will take them. When you consider the poor, I have to say anyone voting no is choosing to make nuclear weapons more important than feeding the poor. One of the big problems now at the food banks is people actually having to ask for food that doesn't need cooked. Because they've had meters installed, they don't have money for their electricity and for their gas. This is Scotland, yeah? The NHS, which is now in the middle of being privatised. I think it's being privatised, actually, probably to save the finance industries, because they're being offered the big contracts now. And I think the universities, you know that if we vote no, the free university education is finished. Why would they when they've got no free university education in England? And you know what? If we strip it all down, is it too much to ask that Scotland now makes its own decisions? Vote yes. Please, for Scotland, vote yes.